Over the past year, our statutory ETF contribution has changed from 11% and then we changed to 7% and then now 9%. However, employees do not need to follow this statutory requirement, but they can actually have the option to retain it at 11%. So when this happens, some of our clients actually have a group of employees which actually wants to contribute at 9% while another group who wants to contribute at 11%. So today I will be showing you on how we can actually set different contribution groups for different employees. Alright, so before we can actually begin, we will need to create the contribution group. To do this, we need to come into payroll, maintenance, and then we have one called maintain contribution. Alright, so first we actually have the default contribution. If you click here, edit. So here you can see it's A and A. So what it means that EPF for employee will be based on the statutory contribution which is 9% and employee as A means we can either contribute at 13% for employees below 5,000 and 12% for employees above 5,000. Alright, so of course this can actually change. Some companies will say, okay, I don't care, your salary is 5,000 and above or below, I want to contribute 13%. So of course we will just change this to 13%. Alright, so if we are done, we just click save. Alright, so the next thing that you can see is that we actually will have created an employee 11% contribution here. We'll click edit and then from here, we can set this group of employees will contribute an 11% employee contribution. Alright, so once you have done, we actually can click save here and then close this. Okay, so now we can actually assign which employee contributes 11, which co employee contributes 9%. We come to maintain employee. So if we want to see which one contributes what, right? So we can actually right click here. We can click field chooser. We can find contribution. We can click it here and drag it down. So you can see, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 wants to contribute at 9%, while Yap King Hawk wants to contribute 11%. So let's say now we want to set Nicole as 11%. All we just need to do is select her, edit, come to payroll information here. So you see there's one called contribution. We can click here, we can change this to 11%. Once done, we just press save. Okay, let's see the impact on our contribution, right? So I go new payroll, I run current payroll. Open this up. So let's say Yap King Hawk, double click. So if you look at here, 638 is actually 11%. Here also the system will then show you that's 11%. For Wong Chun Han, click on that person. You can see that the EPF employee rate is 9%, and we will calculate 9% from 3200 to 355. Alright. So that's all for today. We hope you find this short guide helpful. To like and subscribe to get notified when we upload a new short video weekly.